Hello family. Today we'll be looking at business analyst GRC. What do they do? How can you update your resume to get this job? How much can this job pay you? And how can you pass the interview? Let's dive into it. Now, the job says business analyst GRC. That is the title of this role right here. Now, we want to look at what is business analyst GRC. GRC, if you don't know what it means is governance, risk and compliance. Okay. Now, a business analyst GRC is a professional who specializes in analyzing and managing the compliance requirements within an organization. GRC refers to a framework processes that help an organization align its business activities with its objectives while managing risk and ensuring compliance with relevant laws, regulation, and industry standard. Okay. Now let's take a look at what they are asking for the required experience. This is what we're going to be looking at very uh, quickly. The first thing they're asking for is minimum of one to four years of professional experience. Minimum of one to four years of professional experience. This requirement indicates that the ideal candidate, which is you, should have at least one to four years of relevant work experience in a professional setting. All right. So this does not matter the any experience you have. Either you have whatever experience you've, if you've worked before. Okay. This is what you can do. All right. Minimum of one to four years of experience. Don't forget if you have one year, you have an experience. If you have two years, you have an experience. They're saying one to four. All right. So it does not matter if you have one year experience or two years experience, you're qualified for this role. The second thing they're asking for is excellent communication skills. This means that the candidate should possess strong verbal and written communication abilities. They should be able to convey information clearly, listen actively and interact effectively. That is what that simply means. All right. And they are also saying that you must be a team player. Uh, this requirement emphasizes the importance of collaboration and cooperation within a team environment. The candidate should be able to uh, work well with others, contributing to team goals and value team work and cooperation. Uh, you must be a team player. And I believe that it, these are things that you already do in your day to day life. And the third one is strong analytical and problem solving skills with a history of learning and adapting quickly. So what does this mean? Now, this means that you should possess a solid foundation in analytical thinking and problem solving. You should also have the ability to analyze complex situations, identify solution and adapt to new challenges. What this simply means is that you must be able to use any tool that is at your disposal to be able to make informed decision about anything. All right. This is what this is all about. So do not allow this requirement face you. These are things that you can do. All right. Another thing that they're asking for is excellent written verbal and consultative skills. This encompasses a range of communication skills, including professionalism, collaboration, negotiation, conflict resolution, and the ability to quickly grasp new concept, right? Also that you should be able to communicate effectively with both technical and non-technical individuals and engage in consultative conversations. You must understand that you're going to be working not only with technical people, you're going to be working with non-technical people. So you must be able to do well working with both those who are technical or not. And now you don't have to be technical. You don't have to have a technical background to be able to do this. All right. The next one is good interpersonal skills that demonstrate the ability to communicate with both technical and non-technical personnel. You need to understand that this role here does not require you to have any technical skills. There's no coding. There's no networking. There's no tech experience needed whatsoever. So that's why I said you are qualified for this role and I'll be bringing roles like this your way every day. And these jobs are highly paying jobs. All right. Like hundred thousand dollars and above per year. And these are the most jobs that you can do from anywhere. Okay. Now they also asking for proven experience 
working in a fast-paced uh deadline driven team environment what does this mean now this indicates that the candidate should be familiar with working in a fast paced and deadline oriented setting you should be comfortable handling multiple tasks managing time effectively and delivering results within specific timeline simply put you must be able to manage your time that's it that's what it means and then experience uh in a business analyst role with responsibility for facilitating meetings to define compile business requirements and developing functional technical documentation in a client environment what does that mean let me break it down this requirement suggests that you should have a proud experience working as a business analyst also you should be skilled in facilitating meetings like setting up meetings who can't do that Can setting up meetings is that big deal so you see you can do it now they're saying that you should be skilled in facilitating meetings gathering and documenting business requirements and creating functional technical documentation that is what this is all about okay also it's good that you have experience in like client environment and this implies that you work closely with clients to understand their needs and deliver solution that's what that means now the next one is strong process and data analysis skills with the ability to communicate systems um concept in a meaningful business context also this one here means that you should be uh proficient in analyzing and processing data all right you should be able to demonstrate technical concept into understandable terms for business stakeholders like i said you're going to be working with a lot of people that are not technical as you are not required to be technical so all the requirements that we've seen here which one says you have to be technical now the last one is that you have to be uh, proficient in microsoft office that is simple who can do that excel powerpoint vco that's what that means and also that you're going to be traveling like maybe zero to ten percent so it is expected that the amount of time associated with this role um is about zero to ten percent you you get what i mean it also suggests that you may need to travel occasionally okay so that's what it means now let's look at the company's website and let's look at the resume that you're going to create to apply for this role when you apply they're going to call you for interview and i'm also going to tell you how to nail the interview now this is the company's website the name is vistrada all right um take a look at the website what do they do um go to the about us page read about them make sure you know everything about them and then know how you can help them don't forget the reason why they're going to call you for interview is because they need you to come solve problem for them now let's look at your resume now this is your resume you have your name your address don't forget your address is only your city and your zip code your phone number and your email that is all and if you're gracious enough you can put your linkedin as well put your linkedin profile as well now this is your professional uh, summary this is a professional summary that will get you to be interviewed for this role this is a professional summary and you need to add these skills now if you want to copy this resume you can pause this video and copy this resume all right so that you can build your own and update your resume and then apply for the role and then when you apply voila they'll call you for interview now how do you now nail the interview definitely you must understand everything that you have written in your resume okay that is very very important you need to google everything google everything watch you to learn everything about your experience everything that you have put in this place also now you need to go to the job itself and then take a look as they require the experience and skills each of these experience and skills that they're requesting for make sure you learn them make sure you google each of them put them in youtube use any tool that you can find learn about them and then when you get to the interview one thing you must do i'm going to only give you one secret one secret now when you get to the interview they're going to ask you do you have any question for us you must be able to ask them 
that this role here that you are asking for that you want to employ for what solution what problem is this person bringing solution for all right and they will tell you yes this is the problem that we have and this person is bringing solution at that moment you have to be able to tell them how you were able to solve that problem in the past you're going to tell them stories of what happened how you resolve it and the lessons you learn from there i hope this blesses you take a look at this and again let me show you the resume take a look at the resume pause it if you want to pause it to copy the resume and apply for the role all right and when you get the job guys let me know see you again next time family bye